Fine. Okay. Hello, okay. department. Okay. 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 My name is Chide Bubokoma. This morning, I will be your host. I'm the Imo State correspondent of the Pointers Papers. This is the front view of Imo State Secretariat, you know, with the Imo State Capital. This is, in here is the Secretariat, the Imo State Secretariat, housing all the ministries in Imo State. This morning, unlike what here used to be, this morning, activities are on, skeletal basis one month after the indigenous people of Biafra suspended its one month sit at home order in honor of its leader Mazin Namdekalo who is being tried by the federal government at the federal high court in Abuja. For this morning despite the order despite the order issued by the state government that any of its employees who have sent is or herself from office on a, on a Monday shall be sat. But from what we are seeing now, and from what I've seen when I went inside, many civil servants, many employees of the state government did not come to work today. Many business owners around here did not also open for businesses. Many people in the state capital are sitting back home. Banks, no bank in Imo State today is, operate, it is, op, is open for business. All the shopping malls, all the supermarkets, all the big markets in Imo are shut with only uh, filling stations and pharmaceutical shops and hospitals in full swing, but with no patronages. Here at the front view of the Imo State's Secretariat activities and on a skeletal basis. There are no huge commercial activities. We just few buses here in search of passengers. The roads are deserted, unlike on a normal day. We have seen large number of vehicles going into the secretariat and large number of them coming out. You would have seen. You would have seen large number of vehicles flying through here, down to Portacourt Road and down to Nuoware. But this morning, the roads are virtually empty. The roads are virtually deserted. But the truth is that there is, in, there is an improvement when you compare what is happening today with what happened last Monday. While it was virtually a deserted scene last Monday, you could see you could see a uh, few vehicles and few persons here. But last Monday, this place was actually deserted. Why we came here is because the Imo State government had issued the automatum, had issued the order that any civil servant who did not come for work will be as would be sacked from the state from the state ministry. But despite this warning, large number of civil servants did not come out. But when I spoke with the Commissioner for Information before we began this live stream, he maintained that large number of civil servants came to work this morning. But from what we are seeing, you will agree with me that this place is, is almost deserted. Because you would have, on a normal day, we would have seen not less than 500 people here and now, because this place used to be a beehive of commercial activities. We would have seen large number of people gathered at this newspaper stand to read newspapers this morning. But this morning, only one, only one person is a, only one newspaper vendor is open this morning for business. Before now, you would have seen not less than five, six newspaper vendors here, yeah? and, and with crowd of people, the one they usually call the Free Readers Association, they have seen them arguing, discussing on contemporary issues. But this morning, the rules are deserted. This place is deserted, just few number of persons. You will see this morning. The dailies are virtually here. With very few persons at the newspaper stands. This is not what a Monday morning used to be, no worry. Before this uh, weekly sit at home order. 
but despite its suspension, residents of over the Demo State Capital, a huge number of em employees of the state government who work here are also sitting at home, despite the lifting of that suspension order. This is the live situation report, what is happening here. The state government insists that its employees came to work today. But the question is, have its employees come to work today at the State Commission for Information and Strategy has insisted? Why is this environment almost deserted with few number of vehicles, with few number of uh, persons here? That is the situation report here. The thing is that people are sitting, are still sitting back home. For us in Imo State here, you know what it has become a weekly norm that every Monday that activities, commercial activities, business engagements will be granted. Major markets in, in Imo did not open today, like the wood and timber market at Omonyal, the wood, the wood and timber market at Nase, the Alaba International Market on Abarut, the Ayuko Wale, the Nkoji, the Akwakuma Market. Many of them are shut down today. Even when you go to the oasis of the states, the, the, the timber markets, the international market, all, all of them are granted. All of them are shut. Thread has done come out today. When you ask them, they say they are sitting back home in protest of what they, they said the federal government is doing to Nam de Kalo. That is the situation report here. Why the state government and the security agencies have continued to reassure the people of the state that they have the capacity there and capability to protect lives and property. The people of the state have continued to sit back home on Mondays. And with the latest addendum to what is happening, it seems next week, Monday and Tuesday, that will be total shutdown in our world because the airport has already declared next week, Tuesday, a public holiday in respect to what they say happened at the Afaruku house of Nam de Kalo on 18th, uh, on, was it, uh, on 14th of uh, September 2018, when they alleged that the Afaruku house of Ifida was invaded by security agencies and with person scheme. So with, with, what, with what is happening today, with the people of the state already sitting at home every Monday, what it then now means is that next week we are going to witness two days sit at home in quick succession, the Monday and the Tuesday. What that is to the economy of the state, to the economy of the Southeast, has not yet been determined. But many economists have said that the state has continued to lose millions of naira. Each day, there is a seat at home in the state. But people do not care. They do not care about the economy of the state. They have continued to sit at home. Why they sit at home in solidarity with Nam de Carlo? Others sit at home because, it, for, because of the fear of their lives. Others sit at home because of the fear of their life. That is a, that is a situation report of, of what is happening in our world. And particularly here, which, which usually which is usually beehive, beehive of commercial activities, which is usually beehive of commercial activities. Well done, sir. How are you, sir? This is, talk to us now. You don't want to talk to Punch? Okay, so I was trying to interview that man, but he, he doesn't want to talk to us. People are always scared where you, where you present a camera in front of them. They say they don't want to be vic a victim of the unknown or the known. Because what usually happens here is that people are always accusing state actors of trying to intimidate them each time they bear their minds on things like this. You see, whenever you go to any person to ask him, to, to demand reaction from him, him or her will always decline. But the situation report is that the state have continued to, to, be, to be deserted on Mondays. But there's a 
a bit improvement when compared with what happened last week. But large number of people, large number of residents of the state capital are still sitting back home on Mondays. This is the situation report in Owere, the most state capital. And it is not different from what is happening in Olo. It is not different from what is happening in Okiwe. It is not different from what is happening in Angara, Ahiara, Ndise, Amanaku, Omaka, Ohaji, and so on and so forth. All the schools in Imo State are shut today. Imo State University is, is empty. When I went there this morning, it is empty. Federal University of Technology Owere is empty. Federal Polytechnic Nekede is empty. Federal Polytechnic Omago is empty. Avanikoku Federal College of Education Owere is empty on a Monday morning. Or a government college Owere is empty. All the schools in Owere are empty. Parents did not take their what their parents and uh, the parents did not take their children and walk to school today. That has become the normal norm on every Monday. Activities, activities are virtually empty on Mondays. It is towards the evening now that you will see people who will come out and begin and go to and go to supermarkets and shopping malls to buy things they need for for the night. This is always what here is on every Monday. From the Imo State Secretariat in Nowhere, this is Chidiye Bubokoma reporting for the punch. Thank you and bye for now.